playing hundreds of different characters and some of them became regulars for the next 30 years. And you know, there was something just a little off about all of the characters. <laughs> You're right. The clown wasn't funny. He didn't like kids. The hero wasn't heroic. The cowboy wasn't a real cowboy. He was just an out-of-work actor. And of course, we were the first kid show to feature a cross-dresser. I wanted to be the new TV5 news anchor person. And they turned you down? Yes. Why? Age discrimination. <laughs> Gender discrimination and attitude discrimination. You mean? Exactly. They said I was too old, unattractive, and not differential enough to men. Well, let's take those one at a time. First, too old. Too old. I'm only 85. Now, do I look too old to you? No. <laughs> Second, unattractive. They wanted me to get some nips and tucks. What? Nips and what? A face job. Oh, face job. <laughs> I said, no dice. Not going through what Rita Davenport went through. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> and finally, not deferential enough to men. What does that mean? How should I know, you fat fool? <laughs> Look at the little kids in the audience with their foreign taekwondo kung fu outfits on. Huh? <laughs> As for me, I'll buy American every time and proud to do it. Hairpiece by Andre of the Philippines. I'm out of here. That's it. <laughs> Bafo, how do you personally feel about the kids? It's a buck. <laughs> uh, your birthday parties, that's, that's where you pick up a lot of coin because the mom calls me, says, we want a clown over to my kid's birthday party, see, and I show up. I help them out with their merriments and their frivolity, and I, uh, as long as they keep it down, as long yeah. as they don't scream and yell and laugh and giggle, because that really frosts me, well, man. I have been <laughs> set up to here. Marshall Good has been working in an off-Broadway production. <laughs> how, how far off-Broadway? Mesa. <laughs> but no character would quite strike a nerve with the kids than Gerald. A spoiled brat whose goal in life was to cause trouble for Ladmo. You're going to take a real mighty swing at this and then you're going to show me, right? I am. Now, but first of all, now watch my wrist. Tell me how to do it, Ladmo. I am. I am. Watch my wrist and then the follow through. You follow through. You realize that he did. Oh. What's that? I'll tell you what it was. What's the what, what it was, was a priceless one of his only kind. The star from Italy and you broke it. I said what it was. I was a baseball. Oh, well, no, you can't. Well, I'm the best. You miserable. Home buying twerps. Gerald was a true villain for 30 years. And he was only 12. <laughs> <laughs>